Hello, this is Wes Hickey, Dean of the College of Education and Psychology at the University of Texas at Tyler. In this weekly five, I want to look at what a particular San Antonio school did to improve student performance and ultimately get themselves out of an F rating to one that was much better. And this particular school had four straight years of being designated as an F rated school, so improvement required. And so they began to look at some areas that they needed to focus on to make sure that uh, the students were able to succeed at a level needed. The first thing they looked at was the need to bridge the homeschool divide. And what they meant by that is that they lived in an area that had a lot of families that had very low socioeconomic status. And a lot of times the kids came to school and, and some basic essentials were not being taken care of. And so they went out there and made sure that they were uh, fed properly, they had the clothes they needed, they were clean, all those kind of things. And so they began to find out what was needed at a very fundamental level to make sure that the students were able to succeed and they worked to try to take care of it. The second thing they did is broke down data. Uh, they used the idea of the Moneyball book in which the uh, Oakland Athletics were really using very detailed data for all their players and they break down the data for every student in the school to know exactly what they need and that way they can take a very targeted approach to interventions to improve success. And the third thing they did was hire great teachers. Uh, teachers make a huge difference in the classroom. Uh, many studies indicate that having a great teacher can have a student uh, improve a couple of years in one year and so they want, needed to make sure that they were able to go out uh, have processes in place and, and be very competitive money-wise, but they needed to go out there and hire great teachers. And through those three areas, they began to move from the F status to one that was much greater later on. And here at UT Tyler, let us know what we can do and remember to inspire and educate the architects of human potential.